Hello friends and welcome back to another episode here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we have another Max Raid event update video for you. We've just had the announcement for the November Max Raid event dens and they are all themed around bug and poison type Pokemon. So we'll get into the dens in just a moment. But just to recap, we have had a special Halloween themed event running over this weekend that is now finished where you could get the chance to get that shiny, a square shiny Gorgeist. And I hope a lot of you that were hunting that event had a lot of success with that and managed to get the purple guys because it's such a nice shiny as well. It's one of the nicer ghost shinies that we've got available to us in the whole Pokemon universe. And I know there's a lot of you out there that will say a lot of the ghost shinies are very nice, but some of them are very subtle. But uh, the guys is definitely a nice one. So as I say, hope you all had a nice Halloween and I hope you had a lot of luck hunting that Pokemon while you had the chance. So getting on to today's episode, the November Dens have now been updated. We have said goodbye to what was kind of the ghost and and dark types of October. So as we're moving into the new event dens for November, it'll be worth checking out what we are looking for. As I said, it's all a bug and poison theme. So if we take a quick trip over to our trusty source at Cerebi, again, the link as always will be down in the description if you wanna take a more detailed look at this list of Pokemon. Um, but you can see the event itself is running from November the 2nd, which is today, until the 30th of November. So plenty of time to take advantage of these raid dens and we'll start in Pokemon Sword and we'll work our way down. Obviously the one star raids, we've got G-Max Butterfree is one of the G-Max Pokemon that you're gonna be able to hunt this this time around this month. Um, followed by Shuckle, Ninkada, Trubbish, Oddish and Krogunk. So they're the, all the, the one star raids. These are the ones for you out there that have maybe one or two gym badges or a, a little bit more, but you're gonna have access to these one star raids. You're gonna be very early on in your game but you'll have access to these Pokemon even though you've not got the gym badges to kind of compensate for the higher star rankings in the raids. Now moving on to the two star raids, we've got uh, again Butterfree Shuckle, Ninjask this time and then we've got Trubbish, Vileplume and then Krogunk. So we've got a little bit of an evolution step here for a couple of the Pokemon. Then moving into the three star raids, we've got the G-Max Butterfree again, Shuckle, Ninjask, Garbodor then introducing itself in the three star raids as another Gigantamax Pokemon available this month. Vile Plume and Toxicroak, so the full evolution there of the Krogunk. And then moving into the four star raids, we have the Butterfree Shuckle, Ninjask, Garbodor, Vile Plume, and Toxicroak, and it's exactly the same for the five star raids. Now, there's no real rare items that we're going to be getting, but you are getting Dynamax candies, you're going to get Armorite, or you're going to get Dynite, or as well. So, you're going to get a bunch of useful items, as well as the TRs, the berries, and the other items, bottle caps, and things like that, that you would normally get with these events. So, that is the, the Pokemon Sword variation of this den, and I believe. Pokemon Shield is exactly the same. You're going to have the chance to get G-Max Butterfree. And I think, yeah, right the way down, it's exactly the same. And then G-Max Garbodor appearing. So there isn't any variations between either copy of the game. You're going to have the same exact chance to get G-Max Butterfree or G-Max Garbodor. And it's kind of interesting that they're doing G-Max Butterfree for this November because I believe it was the first G-Max Pokemon that we had available to us when Pokemon Sword and Shield dropped last November so it's kind of like a, a year anniversary of the G-Max Butterfree so we're getting it access to it again uh, around the same time as we did last year which is quite nice uh, but these are the dens for this month and you're going to have the chance to catch all these Pokemon and uh, kind of farm them if you want. And it gives you the opportunity to get them a little bit easier if you're maybe struggling with them in the game and find them in their respected dens. So that is all of the dens here. So we'll move over to our game and I'll show you just for you guys if you want to know how to update your dens as you can see right now. I've got the den. I didn't have any luck, unfortunately, getting the shiny gold guys. I was very sad about that, so I couldn't actually put enough time into it. I did grind quite a lot, but it just all the five stars that I came across were just none. None of them were shiny, so I'll have to go into the Dynamax Adventure raids now to actually see if I can get one outside of this event. So you can see it is the Ghost Halloween event that is still running. Um, and obviously for those of you that are hunting the Gorgeist as well, you can still hunt for it. Just don't go online and don't update your Wild Area news. And you can keep that event in your game until you do get the, the Square Shiny Gorgeist. Or I believe that's how it works. So, to update your dens, come into the menu screen. Mystery Gift. Wild Area News. And this will connect to the internet and update 
your den and all the dens in the respected wild area, the Isle of Armour and the Crown Tundra. So we'll pop up with the message there saying that your dens have been updated. Come back into the game and when you go back into the den this time, the promoted raid will change and you can see there's a vile plume there. Okay, so that's how you do it and for those of you out there just want to clear a few things up as well because we had a lot of questions on the last video that we did for that halloween event and um, now the promoted dens promoted red dens which this one is will only appear in a red beam but they can appear in any den any red den throughout the isle of armor the 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 galar region the wild area and the the crown tundra so any den except a special den so something like the regigigas den where only Regigigas will spawn from under set circumstances where you've got the other five Regis in your party. So any other den, these promoted dens, you can spawn with a wishing piece. They will randomly appear in the wild area once you've updated your wild area news and these will just be random like the other dens. But when you go to a specific den, if it's not got the Pokemon in that you would normally find in that den under that beam, then it's likely going to be one of these promoted raid dens. But if you're wanting to use the date skip glitch to kind of manipulate the den and get the Pokemon you want from this specific event, then you're going to have to drop a wishing piece into it, doing the date skip glitch on a, a normal generated den that generates every day by itself. It will just disappear and it'll move to another den. And the last video we went through a process of how you can try and get one of these dens very quickly and one place i would definitely go is drappled grove in the wild area there are two dens right next to each other and you can go in between them just dropping wishing pieces on one checking it and then going to the other one checking it until you get that promoted raid den a lot of our older videos where we used to just always be in the wild area because well, that's all we had that that was always a spot i used so that's a really good spot for you guys to to try and and farm these raid dens if this is what you want to do so hopefully that helps clear up some confusion with that if you do have questions though don't be scared leave the comments down below and i'm happy to answer anything and help you guys out as much as possible obviously with the dens and any other questions you've got and if you're like me and you've got one of these dens here and it's got like a vile plume in it and you do just for the, the sake of the guide here, what we'll do is we'll, we'll show you how you can cycle through and change the Pokemon. You hit invite others, hit your home menu, come down into system settings and then down to system, date and time and just cycle the date forward one day. Come back into your game and then quit out of the den. Make sure you're offline when you do this because you don't want to disrupt anyone else's game when you're online. It will invite others. Come back into the den. This will trick the game into think 24 hours have passed which will then take you into another seed of this den changing the pokemon and you can see we've got a shuckle here so um and what you want to do is just kind of keep doing this until you come across that gigantamax pokemon or whatever pokemon is that you're hunting in this specific event den now you can check out the page on Cerebi to get a more detailed view even though we have been through it all the details are there for the den and you'll be able to see exactly what pokemon are available uh, in your own time rather than kind of skipping back and forth between this video but hopefully i've kind of covered everything enough for you guys and you kind of and just giving you these examples hopefully is some help especially for the newer players coming into sword and shield now that maybe went around in the early days when we were doing a lot of these glitches but as you can see we've got the g max butterfree here if you're really paranoid and you you, you really want to catch this butterfree and you don't want to mess it up or anything like that just save your game before you enter the den if it goes wrong you just reset your game and then come back into the den and you'll be able to to go for it again so we'll go for the butterfree we'll see what we've got well, what have we got at hand we've got a trusty old track in there that'll do do the job for us so we'll jump in and you can see this is one of the g maxes that we've got available to us in the game right now you're going to be able to hunt for the rest of november which is nice and i'd imagine as well we'll probably get one off special event in the middle of november at some point maybe another shiny event den or something like that but if we do get any updates uh, anytime in the next few weeks or anytime at all i will be covering them here on the channel so if you have enjoyed this video please remember to drop a like it does really help support the channel lets me know that you enjoy this sort of content and uh, if you do enjoy this sort of content and want the updates and things like that be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these updates when they do go out and uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what your opinions are on this month's den i'd love to hear what your thoughts are in regards to the gmax butterfree and the g max garbador as well i'm kind of hoping that we get some mythicals very soon that would be really nice if we get some uh, mythical events like victini and you know jirachi and 
things like that that would be really cool but we'll have to wait and see hopefully one of these one of these months we'll get a really hype event we've had some really good ones in the past with the zero aura and things like that so it's not to say it's out of the realms of possibility but on that note friends i will leave it there i think i've covered everything i wanted to in this video so i'll have a great rest of your day enjoy the event dens for november and i will see you all for another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye